The attack on Dikwa Town, Borno State, left in its trail massive destruction, which translates to a setback for the government. The headquarters of the Army Super Camp 9 was where the Chief of Army Staff addressed troops, giving them a 48-hour ultimatum to take back Marte, overrun by insurgents. The essence of this visit is operational. The idea is to motivate you. In the last few days, we had had attacks in your area of responsibility. It is now high time we get back and fight through and support our forces ahead of you. I wish you well on the operation and I know the morale remains high. Monday's attack left the super camp headquarters a caricature of its original self. The insurgents also unleashed mayhem on the palace of the Shehu of Dikwa, Nigerian Army 81 Division Task Force Battalion, 22 Armored Brigade Headquarters, UN Humanitarian Hub, Primary Healthcare Center, and IDP camps. Nearly a week after the attack, a cumulative casualty figure is yet to be ascertained. They came in the night and burned down our properties, mats, food and houses. They burnt everything down. We don't have places to sleep now. And we are in a serious dilemma. Unfortunately, three people lost their lives. The insurgents came and fired into the town, burning everywhere. They entered the brigade and all the soldiers fled. They burnt everywhere. We ran to the town. The fire burnt three people in this place alone. All three were women. Governor Babagana Zulum is back in Dikwa to meet residents and assess the level of destruction. Indeed, it is a very sad moment, but nonetheless, um, directing the Ministry of Triple R, Reconstruction, Rehabilitation and Resettlement, to ensure the immediate rehabilitation and reconstruction of all the burned down structures, while we are appealing to the Nigerian military, as well as the federal government, to ensure stability of this region. The impact of insurgents in the northeast cannot be overemphasized, and the Borno State government is asking the federal government to work towards stabilizing the region to free the people from the twin evil of terror and starvation.